Hey everybody, Chris Bryant here with a brand new series of CCNA and CSENT video boot camps for our new exams here in 2013 and 2014 and beyond. Uh, boy, it's been seven years since the last exam change. Where did that time go? What we're going to do today is start off with a little bit of a video practice exam and then go into a lab. So if you know the answers to the questions I'm about to ask, uh, stick around because we've got a really good lab coming up on live Cisco equipment as always. And first off, let me ask you, what command resulted in the output you're seeing on the screen right now? Got a good exam tip for you there. If you don't know the answer to that kind of question immediately and they give you information like this, just look around. You know, there are usually some pretty good hints there. Secondly, we're obviously dealing with frame relay since it mentions frame relay DTE there in the middle of the first line. So let me run this by you. There are two particular values here, and they're obviously all set to zero right now. There are two particular values here that should be incrementing if everything is fine with your frame relay connection. Which two are they? And then finally, there's one timer here in particular that indicates trouble if it's incrementing. Which one is that? And if you think you know the answers, like I said, stick around because we're going to mess around with all this stuff here, uh, again, on live equipment. Before we get to that, just one big quick thank you. You have made my Chris Bryant's ICND1 study guide a number one bestseller on Amazon. I'm absolutely thrilled by that and honored. Thank you so much. Uh, ICND2, as we speak now, it's December 4th. Should be there any day now. I apologize for that delay. And right behind that in the top 10 is my CCNA Success Binary Math section or binary math book, I should say, and it's got over 150 practice exam questions for you with fully illustrated answers. So do check those out when you get a chance. And as always, you do not need a Kindle to read any of my books. You can use the free Kindle apps, and we're coming to other formats soon as well. So let's jump in here with this particular connection. First off, what command are we using here to begin with? This is an excellent frame relay troubleshooting command, and it's show frame LMI. And if you looked around, you, know, you could see that it was frame relay. I wasn't trying to fool you there when I asked the frame relay question. And here's LMI mentioned at the very beginning. And the LMI, the local management interface, that's our keep alive for frame relay. That's the heartbeat of the entire thing. So if we don't have a good blood flow, so to speak, if we're not getting some kind of heartbeat from somewhere, uh, then our connection is going to die. Now right now these are all set to zero because I cleared the counters and shut the interface before that because I didn't want it incrementing while I was asking you those questions because then that would make it a little too easy. So what we'll do now is go ahead and do a no shut on that interface and hopefully the frame relay is going to come up and we'll take a look around. So we've got line protocol just went up, that's a good thing, but we always know to stick around for a little while longer, a few seconds, make sure it stays up. Now let's go ahead and look at our show frame LMI. And we have a couple of numbers here starting to increment, a couple of values. And that should be a good thing. Let's do a quick show interface as zero. And you can see serial zero is up. Physically we're fine then, line protocol is up and it has stayed up. So it looks like we are good to go there logically. Again, a great review here. Serial zero is up, refers to the physical state of the interface. Line protocol is up to the logical state. So we haven't seen any messages about our line protocol going down. So that is a good thing. So let's run that show frame LMI and take a look. And you can see the only two values that are incrementing are the number of status inquiries sent and the number of status messages received. These two values should be incrementing about how often? There's a bonus question for you. I like to throw those in. About how often should they be incrementing? They should be incrementing about every 10 seconds because that's how often your frame relay keep alive should be coming in your frame relay LMIs. And you can see in the output of show interface serial zero, it even mentions keep alive set 10 seconds. That's about how often that value should be incrementing. Let's go ahead and run it again. And you can see those two are continuing to increment at 9 and 10. So again, it's a great troubleshooting command, but you have to know how to interpret what you're seeing. Now, to be blunt here, I'm going to tell you a secret. Don't tell anybody I said this. Now, here's the thing. 
these values, these are pretty advanced as far as frame relay goes, and we're not really concerned with those right now. The ones we're really concerned with are down here at the bottom, and these are the two that we want to see continually incrementing because that means our frame relay LMI exchange is going as it should, and you can see there that we're now up to 12 and 13. Now, if I just shut the interface, that's not going to result in that other value starting to increment. The other value I mentioned, the one that indicates we've got a problem, is going to happen because of an LMI mismatch. So what we're going to do is change the LMI type from the default, of course, of Cisco to something else. Here's another bonus question for you that's coming out of nowhere today. Where, or excuse me, what are the other options for our frame relay LMI? This is the default, Cisco. But what are the other two? I'm giving you a hint there. Now let's take a look. And you can see that our three choices are Cisco, ANSI, and Q933A. I'd have those memorized, frankly, because if you take a router into the exam room, they're going to get a little touchy about that. So I would just go ahead and put ANSI here, and let's see what the result is when we have an LMI mismatch. Now, the connection doesn't go down immediately or anything like that, but notice now we're even at 19 and 19 where there was a difference of 1. Well, it could be pointing out something. Ah, you see, one of these is continuing to increment, but the other is not, and now this number status timeouts is incrementing. Timeouts are almost never good. It's like the old Simpsons joke, you know, have you ever known a siren to be good, Mr. Simpson? when he was applying for credit. So we're up to 20 and 21 here, and now we get a message the line protocol has changed state to down, and again, that is never good either. So what we've got now, these timeouts are gonna start incrementing, because what's happening is we're continuing to send the LMIs. They're just different than what we're expecting to get, because you can see now that the LMI type is ANSI, and we know the default is Cisco, so we're sending an ANSI LMI, but we're getting a Cisco back, and that is never a good combination. And you can see, again, the inquiry sent will continue to increment. It's your messages received they are going to stop, and your timeouts are going to start incrementing. And it's three timeouts that ends up bringing that connection down. So that's the one you got to watch, because in troubleshooting, you have to know, you know, well, if these numbers are incrementing, is that good? Is that bad? Well, in this case, uh, some of them are good and some of them are bad. So let's go ahead and change that back. Almost got me. And let's do a show frame LMI now. And the timeouts are not going to disappear. But you'll notice now we did get one there that came in, but we're at 29 and 20 here. That's a good thing. And you can see the receive now has gone to 21, the timeouts, we just got one extra. And we're staying at 10, which is good. And there's your line protocol, change state to up message. And now, since we've got our LMI in the right place again, and we've got that LMI match, this number will continue to increment your number status inquiry sent and your status messages received will continue to increment as well. So again, this is our show frame LMI command, a very important troubleshooting command. Gives you some good basics on what's going on. It's going to show you how many inquiries you've sent, how many LMIs you've sent, how many of the right kind you have received, and any timeouts. If you want to set all these back to zero, you can run clear counters, but it's going to clear everything. So just make sure that you really want that so you can then set them back to zero. That can be handy as well. I think that's enough for one day, but we'll do some more frame relay work and work on other 20 exam topics in the future. Again, thanks for making my book on Amazon a number one bestseller. I'm beyond thrilled about that. Very, very happy. And we'll see you with ICND2 very shortly. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.